Hello. Hi. Well, um, I've seen a few of these. I've actually used a few of these locks before. Uh, used them on cupboards. Even used them on a uh, bus with a folding, uh, bifolding door once. <clears throat> so it's a master lock, and it says. You can see here it says. Limited lifetime warranty. Okay, limited. It's a four out of ten. My name's sure it's a four out of ten. What I found quite interesting about this was that on the back here it says treated steel hasp, pin tumbler cylinder. Hmm. Pin tumbler cylinder. Well if I'm not mistaken, as I look into the packet, that looks to me like a wafer lock. So I thought we'd open it, pick it, see what we end up with. So let's give it an open. Start it off. This way. So it gives this a 4 out of 10. Well, might actually, might actually be less than that. Mm. Take the key. So let's have a closer look at this master lock pin tumbler. <clears throat> so, sorry, excuse the light. Uh, so and zoom in. There we go. That is definitely not a pin tumbler. It's wafers. So the idea is, is that fasten it like a normal asp. You fasten it to whatever you're going to secure. It goes over. This bit fastens to the uh, to the door or the or the frame. And and focus and when you pick it this lock turns and it goes level with these this hole and it gives you you can open the asp so there's the master lock logo so uh, let's put the key in. Turns and yet an open take key out. Then the idea is is that when this is secure, secure to whatever you've got it fastened to, this comes over, and then you just twist it and it's locked. Okay. So put it in, key turns. And this bit of the mechanism turns with the core, turn it back, take the key out, and you're open. So let's, let's lock it up. Right, I decided I would try this double half ball. There you go. From the ghost hole kit. And we'll see how that does opening this lock. So let's try this and wrench. So let's have a little look. There we go. Maybe I can zoom in a bit for this. About there. So it's a bit slack. Uh, to the keyway. See if that works. Just looking how to play in that car. Oh, it's unbelievable. Okay. Maybe not. Go back to the Z wrench. I 
I think we should give that a go and see how that works. So here we go. So in we go with the pick. Find a good angle so we get it on the camera. Give it a bit of a jiggle and a wiggle, as they say. Tension. Oh, there you go. That easy. Open. Bingo. Close. Lock. I remember. I remember having one of these in a cupboard about five, six, seven years ago. Uh, that had some sharp objects in uh, that children wasn't allowed to get to. And the teacher lost the key, asked me for the spur key. She lost that key. And <laughs> I feel bad saying this, I had to break it off. I didn't, off the cupboard, I didn't realise just how easy these things are to pick. Just give it another go, eh? Why not? Let's have another go. So much for the pin tumbler. So there you go. Oh. Open a couple of wiggles and we're in. It goes back, metal, and we're open. Simple as that. Lock. We should give another go, eh? Let's have a laugh. There again. Try picking it in my hand. Okay, see if I can get this better on the camera so you can see it. Some wafers. With the pick, there you go. We're open straight, open lock. Okay, I take it back. This isn't a four, this may be a two out of ten. Literally horrendous. Four out of ten. Where's it gone? Pin tumbler. I beg to differ. The wafers. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you again soon. Bye bye now.